Hi everyone, Letty here. Welcome to Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024. This is a crafty collab video. We're gonna do the February goals recap and then I'm also gonna talk to you about my March plans. So welcome back everyone, I'm participating in Hashtag Crafty Goals 2024, it's hosted by Debbie, who is Project 39 Mini Albums, I'll link all the collab participants down in the description box below. Today I'm sharing my February Goals Recap and my March Plans. Let's jump into the February Goals Recap. So I have my little printable trackers, I do have these, I can list them down below, um, they are a freebie for you. Um, and so my first goal was to smash at least two small paper pads, and I did smash two Two. One was a not too shabby full pad and then the second one was a partial from Doodlebug. Hello again. And then my second goal was to smash at least one large paper pad or pack and I did do the Hobby Lobby. I think it was like an inspirational one. And then uh, the next one is to make at least 10 Christmas cards. I did make 12 Christmas cards this month so that goal's met. And then to prep at least 10 craft fair items and I did prep 15 items. So I had done a card set. Um, which I don't have to show you because I've already given it away. And then I did some Christmas tags and also some double T uh, pack holders. And then my flex goal is the fifth one. I want to try to make 100 cards for Cards for Cubs. And I made 120 cards. So a lot of Not Too Shabby, some Hobby Lobby cards, and then also some Doodlebug cards as well. So 120 total. So I met all five of my goals for this month of February. You see here, all five of my goals. So these were just my crafty goals. Then I also am doing some trackers. And so I'm tracking five different items just to see how I do each month. My first one is to post at least five new Etsy listings. And I did do 13 in February. So I definitely met that one. I did not pass this one. I totally failed this one. Um, so I wanted to do at least 10 minutes of crafty time each day. And I even took off the couple extra days and I totally missed that. And I, I even wrote down the wrong number. It should have been 29 days. Um, and then the tr goal number three was to do track how many cards I did. I did 141. And then how many YouTube videos? I want to do at least 12. And I did do 12. Now, I did not mail out any personal cards or Happy Mail, but I did do 31 Etsy orders, which is up from January, which I think was like 21. So I basically tracked and was successful with three items here. So three out of five. So total, total was eight out of 10 items, which is actually an improvement from last month. So I'll take it. So for my yearly trackers, I had two small paper pads this month, one large paper pack. I had 12 Christmas cards. 15 craft fair prep items, 120 cards for my donation, 13 Etsy listings, 10 uh, days I cleaned or 10 minute segments, 141 total cards, 12 videos, and no actual happy mail. But um, I did do eight out of 10, which is an improvement. I did some birthday kid Christmas cards, encouragement, hello, spring, Valentine's, and winter. So lots of different card themes this past month. So these are my free trackers. Again, I will link them down in the description box below, as well as a video where I share like how to fill these out and sort of some inspiration on them so i'm going to move my yearly into march one thing i do want to mention is i'm going to modify one of my crafty goals for march and i'll tell you why so the, the last goal the fifth one i'm going to modify that instead of 100 cards i'm only going to try to uh, do 50 cards uh for cards for cubs donation and that's because i've been doing extra the last three months actually um and so i think i have enough cards and uh, i want to make sure i have enough time to actually box them up and send them so now let's go ahead and dive into the actual projects and smashes that I did. So I used the February 2024 box of the month. I was able to smash one of the paper pads called Tweet. I used a pretty good dent in ephemera, but did not finish it all up. I made three projects. I made these rainbow cards first off. Then I made this sheet load of cards by Call Me Crafty Owl. And then the last thing I did was make a uh, combination of some cards, including a Jess Crafts One Sheet Wonder sketch. And so this is just a super fun, easy one. I used a ton of uh, store-bought card bases on these. I also did smash the Hobby Lobby kit. I made 40 cards, was able to use a ton of items from my stash for these cards just to kind of finish them up, especially those little sentiments and the images. So 40 different cards on that one. Again, all these items have different videos. I also did some Doodlebug cards using the, the new Snow Much Fun collection. I had received a free paper pad, a little six by six from scrapbook.com. So I used it, well, some of it. And then I also made some cards using the doodlebug hello again collection i was able to finish off a pad i had about half of a pack maybe um and so i was able to make all these additional cards including these final ones now in my video i mentioned that after the video i went and added doodle lines these are what they look like so again a ton of just different cards this month mostly for the donations and then i did do some christmas prepping for all year long um i did do some 
Christmas cards here, 12 of them, and I stamp the little gingerbread on uh, some light craft cardstock and then colored it. I did use this little Signo uh, white uh, uniball pen. That's the one that I used for this, which worked really well on the craft cardstock. And then I also used that gingerbread uh, ink from Catherine Pooler, which is uh, relatively new from last year. So I had not used it. I had it in my stash. I did make some tags as well. I want to try to prep some items just to have a lot of things ready at the end for craft fairs and things. And so I have a lot of items that I've already prepped with these with these tags then I also had the quarterly release from the not too shabby shop this is just stunning this is an absolutely gorgeous kit I was able to do a couple of different projects this month um, and so I made three cards and I have a video for this super fun easy quick beautiful cards and then I also did a double tea pack holder um, so I show you how to make this little tea pack holder and what's neat is that you actually can hold two tea bags one on the front and one on the back and so just a quick and easy project but so versatile as well great one for craft fairs and things like that so that's the second project I did with that so those were my items that I made in February let's talk about the smashes I smashed that tweet paper pad the hello again paper pad from doodlebug the hobby lobby kit and lots of enamel dots so some pretty good smashes so far this month for February now let's talk about March so for March, here are the items I want to use. I want to use the Have a Holly Jolly Christmas by Lori Whitlock, and it is by Echo Park. I did pull in an additional uh, sheet of those three by four cut aparts. That's what I was mentioning there. And so this is one of the items that I want to smash for my Christmas items. And then I am just really into the bee theme right now. And I really want to try to use some of these items up. So this is from Echo Park. It's called Be Happy. I had purchased it recently, uh, maybe like at the end of last year. But of course, I never got to use it, so I'm taking it out. I'm also taking out some of these items from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I believe this is the Sweet Bees collection. I have the paper pad and some of the ephemera. I want to use some of these um, and make some projects. I also took out a couple of stamp sets from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I might take out some additional items because I do have some other bee-related themed items in my stash. But I also want to use up this Welcome Easter uh, 6x6 paper pad. I think I have about 16 sheets plus some scraps. This is from Echo Park, so I'll try to to finish off that one and then i also have this quarterly release that i started in february but i want to use it up and make at least one more project in march so make sure you check that out as well and then i have the for for the month of march i have the new paper pad club which is two paper pads the add-on ephemera which is just gorgeous and then also a stamp set uh called my garden so this is a stamp and die set i'll be making at least three projects this month using these few items from the not too shabby shop this is their newest release so again those were my march plans and again this was for hashtag crafty goals 2024 make sure you check out that hashtag make sure you check out everybody's video who is participating give them some love watch their video leave a comment get some inspiration happy crafting